In the last video, we put in some password protection for our um, for our web server, so that you had to put in a username and password to get to your Apache web server running locally using WAMP server on a Windows machine. I'm just running Windows XP here. Um, so now, how would you do it if you wanted some encryption? Well, I'll show you right here. Let's see here. And I, I, once again, I looked all of this up basically on Google. Um, the search terms I used was, let's see here, something like, um, you know, password protect directory in Apache. And I found a whole bunch of information, tons of information. So anyway, um, here's my C drive. I go to WAMP. I'm in my WAMP folder. I go to my um, uh, WAMP folder and now I'm going to, this is WAMP Server 2.0. I'm assuming that you watched the last video and I'm running WAMP Server 2.0 and I can go to my WW home directory here by just going down there, C drive, WAMP, WWW. I'll go up to my WAMP folder. I'm going to go into my, um, go, well, let's go down here and show you that this was the no encryption password, right? And I'll delete that now. And now I'll show you this is with encryption. I'll copy that and paste it here. And this is with encryption. So here is the username is Dan's Courses separated by a colon and then here is MD5 encryption or MD5 hash right here and the site still works. So now if I was to go here and I'm going to um, go back home and tools I will clear recent history clear now and I'll go to localhost and it wants a password and I'll put in the wrong password the username Dan's courses and I'll put in the wrong password I'll type in house click OK and you get nothing but if I type in Dan's courses and I type in let me in you can see it works even though I changed the um, password from Dan's courses colon let me in to Dan's courses colon with this um, MD5 hash, right? Well, how did I do that? It was actually really simple. I found a cool stuff on the web to show me how to do that. Um, whoops, didn't want to show you that. So how do you do that? Well, it's not so difficult. This is what you do. In your WAMP folder, right? And go into the bin folder, and then you go into Apache, and then Apache 2.2.11, right? and then then where do you go I think you go into bin also and then in this folder there's a file called htpasswd.exe and this is a password program that will help you to create a um, MD5 hash or, or any kind of encryption will help you to encrypt your password your username and password it'll help you encrypt your username and password okay so um, then what I want you to do is create a text file that you're going to call pass.txt. So just right click anywhere down here and say new text file, text document. You could call it password.txt. I'll make a new one. Password.txt, right? So it's just an empty text document. It doesn't have anything in it right now. Now here's where it's going to get a little trickier. You're going to need to go to start on you can't see my start menu but I click start and then run and then I'm going to type in CMD and open up a command prompt and I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger for you of the font okay alright make that a little bit bigger right and you're gonna need to change directory so I'm gonna change directory to c colon backslash wamp okay and hit enter and then I'll hit dir and you have to browse your directories here so I need to go into the bin folder 
So I'll say change directory. You see me down here at the bottom. Change directory to bin. Right? And then just going to look here. It's bin. Uh, the path is bin Apache Apache 2.2.11 bin. So now I'll say change directory CD to um, what was that? Uh, Apache lowercase a Apache backslash Apache 2.2.11 backslash bin. Okay, and so now I'm all the way in where I need to be. I'm in C colon backslash WAMP backslash bin backslash Apache backslash Apache 2.2.11 backslash bin and now I can hit DIR and get a directory listing. Okay, there it is. And you'll see that there is the program that I need to run HT password uh, pass wd.exe. Okay, so I'm going to type that in now. HT pass wd.exe and hit enter. And it says, wait a minute, you need to give us some more information. So I need to give it a bunch more information. I believe I'm going to give it a um, a B. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to give it this password.exe and B and N B and an M, I believe. So dash B and then M. And then I'm going to tell it which text file I have, password.txt, and then my username, which is Dan's Courses, and then the password, let me in. Okay, so I'll just kind of stretch this out maybe a little bit so you can see. I can't stretch, oh, let me in, you can see it there. All right, and hit enter. Um, and so the so the command was ht pass wd.exe that's the that's the program and then i gave it i passed it two um, arguments uh dash b and m dash b will uh, use the password from the command line and m will force an md5 encryption on the password and then i tell it what text file to write it to password.txt which is in the same folder, obviously, or the same directory. Then my username, Dan's Courses, and then the password, let me in. And so now, if I go back to that, if it worked, I should be able to open up password.txt and have the password in there. And there it is. So the command created, it took the, the username, Dan's Courses, and it created this um, password. Uh, encrypt, encrypted password. It encrypted the password let me in into this and I don't need that last character. It ends with this backslash and then all you have to do is just copy this and paste it in your .ht password file which got right here. You can see right there I pasted it right in there and it was all good. Voila!